New discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope are challenging long-held assumptions about how dust storms form on brown dwarfs. Let's start by understanding what brown dwarfs are and why they are so fascinating to astronomers. Brown dwarfs are celestial objects with more mass than a giant planet, but less than a small star. They cool down after formation because they can't sustain hydrogen fusion. Since they resemble giant planets, particularly the heavier ones called Super Jupiters, brown dwarfs are excellent test analogs for studying the atmospheres of giant exoplanets. The latest research, utilizing data from the James Webb Space Telescope, has provided new insights into their atmospheric behavior. The new findings focus on how giant dust storms form on these brown dwarfs, offering a different explanation than previously assumed. Astronomers generally thought brown dwarf storms were similar to Jupiter's stable, east-west bands. However, this new research suggests some worlds circulate fundamentally differently. The study builds on over a decade of research, focusing on a warm brown dwarf known as VHS-1256b, a prime example of a super-Jupiter. Previous work had already established the widespread existence of atmospheric storms and sand clouds on warm brown dwarfs like VHS-1256b. Earlier web observations had successfully detected the dust directly within the clouds of this super-Jupiter, setting the stage for the latest modeling work. To understand the storms, researchers simulated VHS-1256b's atmosphere using the observational data from the Webb Telescope. VHS-1256b exhibits extremely high, quote, large amplitude variability, meaning its brightness significantly changes over time, signaling dramatic atmospheric features like giant dust storms. The new model was specifically designed to match this variability, revealing a mechanism for storm formation quite different from Jupiter's. The simulation pointed to a unique process, causing the dramatic brightness changes and the movement of the dust storms. Instead of Jupiter-like turbulent patterns, the variability is caused by large-scale equatorial waves, which create large east-west moving dust storms. This phenomenon, known as, quote, cloud radiative feedback, is initiated as clouds near the equator heat the atmosphere, leading to the dramatic storm dynamics observed. So why do these super Jupiters behave so differently from our familiar gas giant Jupiter? The answer lies in their atmospheres being much hotter and responding far more strongly to radiation than Jupiter's cooler atmosphere. This rapid, strong response creates the large-scale equatorial waves, actively preventing the formation of Jupiter-like zonal banding or rings. These findings provide a unique and fundamental new perspective on the atmospheric circulation mechanisms of giant planets in the universe.